Just going through the rings, bringing them back. You have to love how urgent this track sounds. Kind of ominous. Well, maybe not om uh, ominous. Uh, that's probably pushing it a little bit. And, but I do remember um, someone talking about how this uh, pro the music could probably creep, you know, some kids out. Uh, no, uh, I don't think they'll be creeped out. <laughs> they'll probably be a little weirded out by one track. Uh, it's the track you know we heard for the Swordfish stage. I think I mentioned that already. But yeah, um, yeah, it just sounds odd. I, I like that it has. I think they were going for kind of a sci-fi feel with that. Maybe I don't know because you know there's aliens in the other games. I really don't know <laughs> if that's what they were going for. Yeah, Echo, uh, they're pretty wild, even with the, the story. This story is so simple, you wouldn't think it's the same franchise. But they are pretty wild <laughs> when it comes to the story, because there's not just aliens in the other games, there's time travel. <laughs> oh, and fun fact, uh, Tara, the orca, she has the same name as a, a dolphin from Echo Tides of Time. I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, Tara is... Uh, actually, you know what? There's another orca in that game, and I, uh, yeah, my research was just brief. <laughs> so, again, if I'm wrong, uh, feel free to correct me. And, but there is a, uh, an orca whale that we see, uh, in Tides of Time. Uh, possibly in the first echo as well, I don't remember. But, uh, um, apart from that orca, there is a another uh, there's a dolphin that we uh, see that times travel from. <laughs> Why did I say that? Time travels <laughs> from the future. She's a descendant of Echo, and she wants his help. And um, yeah, I just thought it was so. <laughs> it's so interesting. <laughs> it's like. Uh, it's, uh, should I say? Should I say even random? <laughs> like time travel, um, aliens, even shape shifting. Echo gets the power to shape shift for some reason. Uh, he only does it in tides of time. Yeah, here, um, here's the final stage, and here we get to find our friends, our two friends. Now, what's interesting about this is that. You can go to the menu, select a new character, and the characters don't change, so you'll probably see. Uh, I hope you can see that. Uh, well, uh, at the top of the screen, uh, I try to cover everything, but at the top of the screen, there's supposed to be a, a box with the character in it. But yeah, you're going to see what's interesting about that in a second. Because, yeah, the characters don't change. Even when you change uh, the character you're playing as. So yeah, this uh, this track. I don't think this sounds creepy. But it's eerie, at the very least. No, it's just, it's kind of weird. Also, I don't know what the deal is with this. Like, maybe they wanted some nods to uh, the original Echo. Maybe to encourage kids to play it. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, this glyph right here. I don't get the dealio with this. <laughs> Very interesting. Now we've gotten all the glyphs, but we're not quite at the end yet. Now, here, we just swim around and there's two whales. And I think you can switch characters, but I'm not going to do that. All you have to do is just use your sonar. And this whale will, uh, will surface. 
So yeah, because he surfaces, I guess this is supposed to be big blue. I don't know who this whale is over here. Maybe this is his mom. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, do this. And then your character will stop. <laughs> and that's the end of the game. And you don't have to watch this right here. You can skip it. But yeah, that's pretty much the game. That was short, right? Yeah, I said that over and over. So yeah, and this, just the scene that doesn't end unless you hit the start button. And then it just goes to the credits. So yeah. Um, yeah, so that was Echo Jr. And that's just kind of a feel of what the other Echo games are. So, um, if you want an extremely easy, simple, and short version of the other games, then just pick up Echo Jr. And it's not to say Echo and Echo Tides of Time are bad games, though. I think they are good games, but they are unnecessarily difficult. But yeah, uh, I think you should check out those games. At least give them a try. But be forewarned, they are difficult. So yeah, uh, that was Echo Jr. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time.